go to Mr. Cabot. Uh, one of the largest constituencies in the city of La Crosse collectively are the students, faculty, and staff of UW La Crosse, Viterbo University, and Western Technical College. What can the mayor do to foster a more positive relationship between the city hall and these groups? Well, that is a great question, and it is true. I mean, if you think about our population of about 51,000 people in the city, there's over you know, 15,000 of those are students that attend one of those uh, great institutions of higher learning. So I really feel as mayor, it all starts with the relationships that you build, and it takes time to do that. Um, it's not something that you can change overnight, but I am a big believer in bringing people together, listening, treating each other with respect. And again, I think as mayor, you set the tone. Uh, you're the, 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 the local leader um, you know, that represents the city government, and you really have to work every day to promote the city, to reach out to the institutions, and to reach out to the students and the faculty and others to, to you know, again, address the problems or the challenges that we face and to work together. And I really feel, again, as mayor, uh, I've got a, a experience. I do that downtown, and I'm planning on staying downtown, too, just a little bit farther <laughs> north on the cross street rather than 5th and Main. But um, I, I do want to be able to, again, bring diverse groups of people together, and that's what I do right now, working with large and small businesses, the people who work downtown, who live downtown, who care about our community. Um, it's a very diverse group, and you've got to bring those together every day to get those, those challenges and those things done, and that's what I do, and that's what I would look to do in the mayor's office. Thank you. Uh, well, many years ago, when there was not a, a student rep on the uh, city council, and it was all uh, people, a lot like Tim and myself, um, that group that uh, Joe just mentioned went unrepresented. And then there was that period of time where that district where the dorms are was when students sometimes and then went back to uh, long-term residents in that community. Um, nothing has done more for that communication from the university and possibly by terrible through them than the fact that that student, and it's usually a student that comes from that district, is elected. In fact, uh, it's on the ballot this year and uh, the incumbent has an opponent. And nothing has done more for the communication, I think the city hall, than that person and the fact that they had to knock on doors to get there. It establishes a communication that every other council member, because that's how we all get there, uh, can relate to, and it has been very impressive, uh, and also as, as it has become more consistently a quote-unquote student seat, it has become, um, it's even gotten better, and so uh, it is, and the representation has gotten better, so that has been, in answer to your question, Joe, that has been a huge improvement right there in the, in the years that I've been there, uh, because that person comes with an awful lot of credibility. Thank you. I should have mentioned uh, the response is going to be two minutes, but you both have a chance for a 30-second rebuttal if you so desire. Okay, first question for